So Gmail has a new look for the experience. Aiming to be a little bit more Slack-like, they want to bring the workspace into one location. This comes after much needed upgrades to the Google Meet experience. In today's video, we'll outline and detail the new G Suite workspace and how it works. Today's video is sponsored by Pipedrive. Pipedrive is a sales CRM software and you can find out more about them below and at the end of today's feature. So Google want Gmail to be your home for work. So to be clear before we start, the individual accounts aren't changing, but according to The Verge, Google have stated they're actively thinking about how to bring this to the free accounts. So Google believe that you start your day with email, and in reality that is probably the case in the majority of situations. They also believe that hopping between chat applications and email is the worst. And I can imagine that's a direct call out for applications like Slack. So in an attempt to fix this, they're introducing a new ability called chat. This is essentially real-time chat at what you had before in Hangouts. So inside of the new G Suite experience, you'll still get Google Meet for calls. Inside of Google Meet now, you'll see a new window that shows all of your upcoming meetings. This is available through Google Calendar and allows you to bring in upcoming meetings that you have in your day. So Google also believe that project work happens in different places. This is probably a call to project management software where conversations go on about specific tools in comments. They want to introduce a new feature, which I think is probably the biggest feature, is called Rooms. It's essentially like thread-based conversations, which allows you to manage both your files and tasks. Google says making Rooms an even better solution for long-term projects. So inside of Rooms, you'll get a window for files and you can essentially start managing your tasks with whoever's in that room for the project. It's very simple, but allows you to do some of the basics you would with a task management application. So this is all available through the web edition, the desktop edition, and it's very helpful because both experiences are the same on mobile and on web. They also have this new focused mode so that notifications can be muted for a specific amount of time. And also when you're in a meeting, they want to protect your time. So you, if you're in a meeting, will appear as in a meeting for the last 31 minutes. This doesn't happen in applications like Slack, but I guess you could do a workaround with the Slack bot. So let's hone in on a few of the features in one of the demo videos Google posted. I'm gonna share the videos below that are stated in this video. So inside of the demo video, they showcase Google Calendar. You can check them using the widgets on the left-hand side, but inside of Google Calendar events, you can now add rooms to those events. So you can associate a room to a specific event. Now rooms allow you to add threaded replies. You can choose that as an option. You can also add people that are outside of your organization. You can choose whether you get email notifications on them and also adding specific people to the conversation. You can even add an avatar to each of your rooms. So you can also add reactions inside of any of the conversations you're having inside of rooms. So the new My Meetings is very helpful. You can see a dashboard of all of your upcoming meetings, who's going to be in them, and get as much detail as possible before you go in. So one of the biggest changes I'd say to the G Suite workspace as well is the ability to co-edit documents within Gmail without moving out. And you can also have inline meet conversations too. And this is demonstrated in the video they have. You can also externally tag people into a room that aren't necessarily part of your organization, and they'll be able to communicate in the room as well as edit the document, I believe, that are associated with the rooms. Now, if you're curious about how tasks work, they're super simple. You can assign people, you can add dates, and also some notes to the tasks, and you do get this view that allows you to add and show more details, as well as adding due dates as well. Now, in terms of the Google Suite experience, to be honest, it just adds more bang to your buck. Some of the smaller things I noticed might actually get you even more excited about this new upgrade. So search becomes a little bit smarter. You can open search and start looking for people and types of items. For example, if you wanted to see whether Bob sent a PDF, you can find that all there. 
Up in the top right hand corner, you now have something called status. I believe you can update this, although I haven't seen the option available. It has a drop down, so I assume you can change this to um, a, a different status and there may be a few creative ones, a little bit like how Slack works. Now, one of the things I didn't see uh, in some of the preview videos is if you open up mail, it doesn't seem to have this broken down Gmail sections. Um, for example, being able to get uh, a filtered email system. It looks like you've got smaller filters that you can narrow down your conversations to, but I don't think they have this uh, old school way of organizing it. So a few other smaller things, you can now pin important meetings so they're easier to find. Inside of the Drive area, you can add comments and open in Drive. And also on the left-hand side, when you're inside of uh, the application, specifically inside of the Docs, the cleaner sidebar makes it easier so you can view your sidebar and apps and they also tuck away when you need them to. So Google have also stated some changes and updates to Google Meet and Chat. Apparently you have two new things coming, the knocking controls. So apparently once an attendee is ejected, they won't be able to attempt to join the same meeting again by knocking unless the host re-invites them. There's also safety locks. So hosts can now decide which attendees can chat or present in the meeting. So it looks like and it sounds like Google is investing in this working from home and this definitely brings the whole Google experience a lot more together. I feel like in the last few years it's been definitely dis dis dissociated with each other and it's been in different locations. So this definitely cleans everything up. Whether Google continue to invest and improve this will be to be seen, but at the same time, it's definitely, uh, for those Googlers out there, a much needed upgrade. So folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe if you're new. Please like the video if you found it useful. Share it with a friend if they're looking uh, to check out what's new in the old uh, G Suite area. Uh, but here's a little bit more about Pipedrive, who was our sponsor for this month here on Keep Productive. Are you in a sales team? Do you manage sales leads? Are you in charge of the sales pipeline? If the answer is yes, then you'll need to know about Pipedrive. Managing leads, keeping track of communications, and managing processes can be overwhelming. Pipedrive makes sales simpler with a host of features to help you stay on top of all the new leads and conversations. Let's hone in on a feature. Pipedrive's Lead Booster feature is a customizable chatbot that you can add to any page of your website. Lead Booster will engage visitors to your site and send qualified leads direct to the right person in your sales team. Now, 90,000 companies use Pipedrive and deals worth a combined total of over 24 billion have been closed on the CRM software. It's one of the best sales tools for managing incoming leads out there. I used Pipedrive at a previous company I worked with and it was super easy to get on with. There's plenty of ways you can optimize it even further. There was a chap at our work who dug really deep, setting up some fantastic workflows and educating me in the process. Now, Pipedrive aims to be your one-stop sales hub. You can learn more about Pipedrive in the description below and start winning deals for you and your team in this easy to use hub. You can go to pipedrive.com slash keep productive to find out more about Pipedrive.